this Fireworks CS4 tutorial we'll be discussing your pointer tool and your select behind tool because not many people know what the select behind tool is or does the pointer tool it's very obvious what that does just selects things highlights them and moves things around uh, so what I'm going to do is just draw out an ellipse shape actually I'm going to draw out three ellipse shapes all three in graduated sizes there getting smaller and I'm going to make this one green make this one orange so I'm going to demonstrate the select behind tool so first let's go ahead and place this green circle to the back so what you can do is you can go up here to use these little tools they have handy for you here bring to front bring forward send backward and send to back so I'm gonna to send to back and then with this one I want it on top of the green one but behind the blue one first let's set its opacity to about 72 same for the big blue one okay now let's send this one backward so send backward so now it's behind the blue one and and on top of the green one so the green one's very last down in there in the depths so if I wanted to select that green one I, I, I would have to go into the layers here and grab it from that layer maybe lock the two layers above it and that would be a big pain in the butt if I just wanted to select it and maybe manipulate it a little bit so what you can do is you go up to your select behind tool and it will allow you to keep selecting as you click you see what it's doing it's going and selecting all three of those spheres in succession and you might need that and it might come in handy when you're working with complex designs and shapes and things stacked on top of each other with lots of layers that you can't seem to get to the one on the bottom this is a very easy way to do it okay we'll see you next lesson